Hey guys, welcome to a Brick Separator. Today I'm going to be looking at the first uh, Lego mock that I built for my city. Uh, this is what I called the Painter's House. Um, this was um, probably my one of my first uh, like houses and buildings that I built. Um, this is one of like the first real ones. Uh, so I apologize for some of the dust on this. Uh, I, I just I just wanted to do this um, without like looking at it in advance because um, I just kind of want it to be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, looking back at this, uh, I think it'll be interesting to see how I've improved and maybe some things I can learn from this. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I think that the um, the story for this helps a lot. Uh, so basically, because the painter's house, the idea is that. Uh, the guy painted his house and um, just all these crazy vibrant colors and um, it was I never really had enough bricks back then to build it all in one color so that was my solution at the time so um, I mean I don't think it's that bad I think it looks good uh, I like the how the roof um, was on this uh, like the, it's got like these trans green windows which looks pretty cool uh, this had a lot more flowers in the front, uh, I just kind of like lost them over the years. Uh, the door opens up, um, windows open up obviously. The mailbox here, uh, it's pretty simple but it works. Uh, these steps going up to it are nice, so I don't think that gray one uh, is what I originally had. Over here, right here is the painter, and uh, this is the guy that painted his house. And he's painting a picture right there. You can see kind of a spot of paint that he's doing there. And this is kind of like a dollhouse style of build. Um, it's similar to the uh, the city line, how they do their sets. Uh, this is interesting because it has a second floor. It just kind of comes out like this. Um, this is what the first floor looks like. Uh, take a close look at this. It's got like a table, some chairs, very simple chairs. Uh, it's got some shelves with one uh, little gold cup on it. It's got a shelf over there on the other side. Um, this is um, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can just see the windows from this side over here. This is what the second floor uh, looks like. It's got just a single TV with a sticker. Uh, I think these used to go to the bed. They were like the legs of a bed. It's a little side table there. Uh, and this is like really not built very well. It's like just random plates connecting this. And this is really flimsy and could fall apart very easily. Uh, there's also not any tiles or anything. I have to hold it on here. So um, this is kind of weird. Um, it's, I don't know. It's not necessarily um, what I would do if I did this again now. Uh, I do like the roof design though. That's definitely something that I would uh, want to incorporate into my builds nowadays. I don't really do a lot of regular houses anymore. And it's something I really should do more of. Because my city really is lacking uh, with houses. So, um, I mean, this is, it's, it's, I've gone a lot better <laughs> over time, I think. Uh, it's one of my first sins, but it's pretty cool to have this and be able to look back on just what my builds used to look like. Uh, I like looking at old pictures of my city and stuff to just see what all the old bins I used to have. And the good thing of YouTube is that now I can share these um, builds before they get taken apart eventually. So uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Now I can forever look back on these sins. But anyway... Uh, Let's uh, rank this uh, 10 out of 10 brick separator. So let's see. Um, I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10 brick separators. So it's really like, the reason I give it that is like not because it's bad. It's just I've improved a lot over the years. And this was actually pretty good for back 10. Uh, I had a lot worse builds than this. But yeah. So this was a fun little video to make. Hope you enjoyed it. 
And if you liked today's video, check out some of the other ones here on the Brick Separator. See you soon.